All right, I'm Travis Anderson, and we're uh, first going to start by motion palpating the phalanges of the toe. So I'm going to start by AP shear, and then a medial lateral shear, followed by the medial lateral tilt. No oh, tilt, and then rotation and distraction. Okay, now I'm going to go into the muscle testing. I'm going to start with the glute medius muscle. So I'm going to move the leg out and down and internally rotate and I'm going to have the patient resist. Good. I'm going to go to the psoas muscle. Go to 45, bring it out, externally rotate and have you resist. Good. I'm going to have you put your feet on the table for me please. Good. Now for the quadricep test. I'm going to have you resist. Very good. Thank you. Um, I'm going to have you put your feet back down for um, Now we're going to do the pronation protocol. I'm going to start with the navicular, keep my feet inside the table, slightly turning them, arms parallel to the ground. Then we're going to go to the cuboid, and out, good, and then for the cuneiform, I'm going to slide down the anterior side of the tibia, just past the talus on the navicular. Arms are akimbo. Then I'm going to go to the met heads. Frowning face. And then I'm going to go to the talus. Needle hand first. And then calcaneus. Way. I'm going to go through the phalanges. Okay, and then the fibular head. Keeping the heel about three inches out above the ground, and making sure I hide my knuckles. And there we go. Okay, now I'm going to go to the supination protocol. So. I'm going to hit the navicular and cuneiform at the same time and releasing my hands, bringing my hands to akimbo, or my arms to akimbo, slightly internally rotating, and squeeze and distract all at the same time. Then I'm going to go to the cuboid, which is the same, as in pronation protocol, and you're welcome. Um, I'm going to go to the met heads, which is going to be a frown face. Okay, and then to the talus, I'm going to be using my lateral hand first, and then slightly inverting, and then calcaneus. It's going to be sans pronation. And then going through with the phalanges. And fibular head once again, hiding the knuckle, keeping the heel about three inches off the table. And Now with the knee assessment, step out. Okay, and we're going to go as if the patient has a posterior tibia. And have the patient roll over for me, please. For the camera purposes, we're going to switch legs. Okay, uh, I'm going to start by first adjusting the medial condyle. And then to the lateral condyle. There we go. And I'm going to have the patient roll over for me one more time. Oh, I'm sorry. Roll over. Play the pancake game. Once again, assess or replace the pancake game. Once again, assess or assessing that we have a posterior tibia, and assess the, or adjust the medial condyle first. Um, so I'm going to knife edge with my medial hand, taking the knee past 90 degrees, and, and then going for the posterior lateral hand first. Same thing, taking the knee past 90 degrees. There we go. 
Uh, now, I'm going to have the patient roll over. We're going to assess the hip, the hip. Do the rectus femoris muscle test. So I'm going to have you straighten your leg, lift it to 45 degrees. When you push down, you're going to resist. Good, thank you. Um, and then do the an oh, anterior femur. I'm going to find the lesser trochanter and come down inferior, ending up the medial aspect of the quadricep belly. Okay, and then we're going to go on to the alternative adjustments, which is the, the alter, er, alternate talus. Why don't you slide up for me, please? Putting the heel just at the, ta er, at the end of the table. Going to set up on the talus. A to P. Going to have you roll it for me. We're going to do a prone talus adjustment. Can you slide up for me? Thank you. Same thing, setting up on the calcaneus this time. Driving through. And then I'm going to flex the knee. Flex the knee, doing once again a talus adjustment. Now I'm going to have you roll up for me one more time. For the greater toe. Bunion slip on the calcaneus and sliding off. Okay. And then I'm going to assess the patella. Turn in all directions. Including the diagonal. Inferior medial seems to be restricted, so thrust. Uh, I'm going to do the anterior femur glide, setting up in the glitter femoral joint. I'm going to assess the joint going into a circular motion, looking for restriction. In there, so that's where we drop the body. We have the okay. ten. Now we're going to do the tensor fascia lata test and bring the leg out and then up 45, immediately rotate. I'm going to resist. Good. Now I'm going to do assessment of the hip for internal rotation. And then for external rotation, it's going to be just the opposite. Again. All right.